looking for a new star Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome to my channel, Plant Based Storm. I'm Stormy and Happy New Year. It's 2021 and I wanted to just do a quick video showing y'all what we were doing for New Year's. So I'm going to start off with some rice I've got cooking because we're going to have Hoppin' John's and it's typically served over rice. So get a really hot skillet and put in some broth. This is low sodium broth. And then I'm going to add in three teaspoons of coconut aminos. And this is just going to add in some flavor to the sliced mushrooms that I'm going to lay flat into the pan and then I'm just gonna cook that up and let it soak up all of this good juice and it's gonna be really flavorful and delicious but so after the mushroom soaked up all of the broth and coconut aminos I'm going to add in the vegetables and this is two carrots diced up and then two cloves of garlic four stalks of celery and a half of a white onion and then just mix it up and cook it until it's tender and after uh if you need to add in some more broth then that's fine and like I said just cook it until it's tender and then we will add it into the pot to get the peas started and then I've started cooking my rice like this where you boil it like pasta because Dr. Gregor recommends that you cook it like that and then rinse it off and then it cuts back on the arsenic in the rice by 50% or more, which a lot of our soil in the U.S. is actually contaminated. So that's what I've started doing. And like I said, you just want to cook this till it's tender and then we're going to add it directly into the pot that I just poured the rice out of so that I don't have to do as many dishes <laughs> because that is just what I do. I try to be as efficient as possible and that includes on cutting down dishes wherever I can. So just put it right in there and then we're going to add in a can of diced tomatoes and then two cups of vegetable broth and if you need a little bit more depending on how much peas you're going to put in your pot then that's fine or you can even add water and then these are some spices you can add your own spices I'm doing the sun-dried tomato powder it's so delicious and then a little bit of smoky flavor never had smoked paprika it's really really good black pepper and a dash of cayenne and all of this is to taste so however much you want and I like just a little bit of chili powder in mine um, you can also put Creole seasoning in it um, and make it really spicy if you want to because it's traditionally really spicy and instead of doing black eyed peas I did purple whole peas and they're gonna be really delicious okay so next I'm just gonna get the greens ready and I decided to add some cabbage to the fresh greens that I picked earlier so I'm just gonna shred that up kind of fine and then give it a rough chop and then I'm gonna add the remainder of the uh, garlic and onion that I cut up and then this is the turnip that I also pulled from the garden earlier and I'm gonna just take this and put it on the mandolin and slice it really thin now if you're gonna use a mandolin please please be careful because they are so dangerous. Ask me how I know. I've cut my finger on one of these before and they will cut it before you even know it. So go ahead and slice it up real thin and then I'm going to kind of julienne. I mean, it's not really julienne, but I'm just gonna kind of slice them up real thin and add them directly to my greens. And I'm gonna saute this right into my greens and it is super yummy and just adds in a little bit of extra nutrition and fiber and all of that good stuff. So yeah, that's what I'm going to add to my greens. Doesn't that already look so delicious and yummy? So we're just going to saute this, dry saute this, and just do that until it starts to brown up a little bit. And then after it begins to brown, you can see it's already starting to turn. Go ahead and add in the fresh greens. Now you can use whatever greens you want to. This is just what I pulled out of my garden. And it was everything that you saw me um, show in the very beginning so I'm going to add seasoning to this. this is the 21 uh seasoning salute from Trader Joe's and I like to season it up a whole lot because we are not using salt in this so it really needs a lot of seasoning so you can do that to taste put in whatever you want and just saute this until it wilts 
and it is so delicious and yummy. And then the peas are ready. That's ready. Let's get this plated up so that I can eat New Year's dinner. And I hope that you try this at some time because it doesn't have to be New Year's to eat this. It's a really, really good meal. I love to top this with some pepper jelly. Um, this was something I made um, a couple years ago that we really actually need to be eating up. So I opened it up. And it's not, it's just a little bit spicy and a little bit sweet, but they actually sell these in the grocery store in a lot of different places. So you might want to keep your eyes open in case you're wanting to try that. And then of course we're in the South, so we've got to have our pepper sauce. And it's just basically the vinegar from the um, jalapeno peppers. And then I like to add a little bit of jalapenos on top of it too. But if you don't like it that spicy, then you don't have to add this. So this is New Year's dinner. I wish you all a very happy New Year's. And as always, thanks so much for watching.